Okay, we'll get started here. <clears throat> this is a uh, scrappy. This is a quick tutorial video on how to install and uh, do some easy settings in uh, WordPress Super Cache. Um, an easy tutorial video, not a lot of explanation, but just uh, the settings that work good for me. Um, I'm using HostGator to host my site. I've got a uh, WordPress plugin, and this is the back end of my site. And that's my website. Those are the two tabs I have open. If you go to my website, sworn2mc.com, there's some banners and stuff you can click. Uh, HostGator if you want to host a site for cheap. Really good company. And uh, GoDaddy if you want to buy some domain, domain names. But you can go to my site and get those links. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, WordPress Supercache uh, installed to speed up your site. My site wasn't running. It was running really bad. And... Uh, so I watched a bunch of tutorial videos and blogs and uh, got a lot of information and basically combined them all, put them together and found out the easiest way, uh, the easiest settings to do this. So first thing you do is uh, obviously just go to plugins and once we go to plugins we go to add new and WordPress Supercache, and I'll just search plugins. That should be good enough. It'll be on the top here. There it is, Supercache, install now. Okay. Activate plugin. Once you activate the plugin, um, it'll be under your settings, and we'll go to WordPress Supercache. We'll get into some, some of the more advanced settings, but if you just do that, it'll, let, that alone will speed up your site, um, and we can just test our cache. <clears throat> and it tells us that everything's working okay so okay 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 if it doesn't it'll give you some instructions but when you install it and do that it should be just fine advanced settings I use all the recommended one right here I'm going to change it from PHP, PHP to serve cache files to the mod rewrite recommended and once we change that if you go down and update status you're going to see up here it says rewrite rules must be updated. The rewrite rules required. So you got to update your mod rewrite rules button. And so just go down here and you can see here's your mod rewrite rules. And it's just going to ask me to update them and it's going to turn green once I update them. Okay. It's turned green. They're updated. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit this compress pages recommended. I'll get this a little bit bigger so you guys can see what we're talking about. I'm going to use this don't cache pages recommended this automatically you can use if you're using mod rewrite and we'll go down cache rebuild make sure you check that. It's recommended over here mobile device support make sure that one's checked and then I go down here this one's recommended extra home page checks so pretty much just all the recommended ones besides just make sure you do that use mod rewrite and then update your status and then it'll ask you to uh, update your mod rewrite rules all right looks like I've got all the recommended ones checked and so we'll go down here and we'll tell it how often we wanted to check it I want to do once hourly if you're doing a lot of updates to your site check it more often have it check um, check it more often so I'm gonna just do maybe one after the hour once hourly you can go once daily if you're not used like I say if you're not making a bunch of changes you can also email you if you want when the garbage collection runs I don't really care about that I don't need those emails so we've got that once daily or hourly excuse me and the rest of this you really don't have to worry about um, I'll just talk this one locked down real quick it's disabled but that if you were gonna have a huge spike in traffic to your site um, if you were featured on another site or something you're just all of a sudden gonna have a huge things that's pretty much all I do so all right just update the status before we leave here CDN um, I'm just showing you this but I don't really use CDN support you can go through it if you want but never really had a need for that contents um, here you can when you're just getting started since it's your first time just delete expired 
delete expired and then uh, then you can just delete your cash since it's your first time it won't hurt anything you'll get started fresh and then uh, preload um, I don't really use this for anything either plugins and again you can go through this if you want but I don't mess with any of this and I just uh, leave debugging this debug off I'm not real familiar with it so really the only two tabs we used is easy and advanced and did the settings and we'll come back here and just test our cache see how everything's working and you'll notice that it says fetching this copy failed failed and that's one of the things I've run into with super cache um, you'll see a lot of tutorial videos that said to do exactly what I did um, but one or more of the pages has failed. It gives you some reasons down here. Load your home page if logged out of a browser, uh, in a logged out browser. Check the timestamp. Anyways, it tells you to do a whole, whole bunch of stuff. So here's what I found works. Um, I just go back to the advanced setting and I change them back. I just go to PHP like that. And I update instead of using mod rewrite, I use PHP. And I honestly can't explain why but PHP will work just fine and I update it and I'll come back here to easy button and I'll test my cache again and now everything's okay and again if somebody leaves me a response in in uh, comments on why it does that I'd really appreciate it or does a video back on why I, I don't understand because a lot of tutorials tell you to do this mod rewrite and all this stuff and uh, other than that um, now we can use this 304 if we wanted because we're not using the the uh, we're not using the uh, mod rewrite and we could update that and so now we have all the recommended except for use mod rewrite we'll just use PHP to serve cache files which works fine believe me um, like I said, I don't know why it does that. I guess I'm not technical enough to understand that, but we can go back to easy now and we'll just test our cache, make sure everything's working fine. And it is. So like I said, I don't understand why if that uh, PHP mod rewrite is checked, it, it won't, uh, the test cache won't work. But if somebody has some advice or uh, please leave your comments or direct us to a video of yours explaining that and how to fix it. So anyways, hope that helps. And uh, those are the easy settings and uh, we'll see you on the next one.